A leader from the U.S. Commerce Department was in Tulsa today to talk about how the city can use millions in federal COVID relief money to become a leader in the areas of new types of transportation. News on 6 with Brooke Griffin is live with how he says this money could change Tulsa's future. Brooke? Well, the Build Back Better grant is pushing almost $40 million into Tulsa's leap towards advanced mobility design, which includes everything from drone technology to clean energy vehicles. Dennis Alvord is the Acting Assistant Secretary for Economic Development for the U.S. Department of Commerce, and he is here in town to talk about Tulsa being the leader in drone technology and clean energy. Setting up regions to succeed over the long term, and I think part of what we're doing here is following best economic development practice to seed the industries of tomorrow so that they can be successful. Today's tour of OSU and discussion come after the announcement of $38 million being given to Tulsa as part of the Build Back Better grant funded by federal COVID relief money. Alvord says Tulsa was one of 21 cities chosen because of how far we have already come. A lot of uh, activity that was underway here within Tulsa already in this industry sector. Um, so it was an opportunity to leverage some of the good work that had already initiated. He and city leaders talked about what's needed to make these next steps possible. But that the larger metro area is going to be a national leader in the advanced mobility industry. So everything from electric vehicles to drones, all of the next wave of technology that's going to transform the way people live. This is going to be the epicenter of that industry in America. They say the aerospace testing site and new research centers are two of the main projects. I'm incredibly excited to see us pivoting from the competition phase to the implementation phase. Um, and I look forward to coming back you know, down the road to see just what the impact of that investment will be. And they say that the four projects being paid for by that grant will bring up to 40,000 jobs here to the Tulsa area. Live in Tulsa, Brooke Griffin, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.